Hi, I'm Mick from Contour Education. Welcome to the first in a series of videos showing educators the main features and applications of Quantum GIS or QGIS. Coming videos will explore other features and applications of, of QGIS in the classroom, but today it's, it's really about downloading and installing in a typical Windows 7 environment. So if we start with a Google search, we'll enter the term download QGIS and the first link will take us to the QGIS homepage and in there you'll find a forum and wiki for support um, as well as a, a link to download the software. So we choose our operating system, in our case it's Windows and we will take the Windows standalone installer. We'll give that permission and the install will begin and I'll come back once that's close to ending. Okay, our download is nearly complete and we're ready to run and install the software. So let's click on the file and give it permission and work our way through the setup wizard. Um, once you're satisfied with the license agreement, one of the great things about QGIS is that it's an open source license. So this is effectively a license for anyone to install the software at home and school. And obviously you'll consult your IT department at school about that. If you're installing at home, the setup's pretty straightforward and they do give you some data sets to play with if you like. We won't install them today. Uh, you simply hit install and it will extract and in those files and install that software for you. And again, we'll come back at the end. Our files are about to complete installation and once we're satisfied with that process, we'll go and check that our software opens correctly. So if we look for the Quantum GIS uh, desktop icon, which is there, you can double click on that to open the software. And I'll just resize that. There's our startup tip. I'll just resize the window and we can see that our software has opened. There is no data. We'll discuss that in, in future videos. Um, but there's no issues there and we're ready to get started using QGIS. So look out for upcoming videos where we'll show you how to add your own data, how to manipulate, analyze, and really do stuff with the data that your students will find hopefully really engaging. So enjoy.